Hello welcome to IT Expert YouTube video series. Today we are going to talk about design thinking. 5 Type of Design Thinking Empathy Define Problem Ideate Prototype Test Empathy The first step of the design thinking process is to empathize with the people you are designing the product for, who are the product intended user base. Doing so gives you a better understanding of the problem you are trying to solve. There are many ways to empathize with users. For instance, you could conduct surveys, usability tests, or interviews with your target market to develop an understanding of their pain points and experiences. Actively working towards gaining an empathic understanding of the end user motivations and needs allows design thinkers to briefly set aside their assumptions and assess the problem with a different frame of mind. This stage is all about gathering as much information as possible so you can use it in the next stage to develop a clear, accurate understanding of the end user's needs and pain points. UX specialists at Nielsen Norman Group recommend creating empathy maps to visualize user attitudes and behaviors. Define the problem. In this stage of the design thinking process, you compile all of the information you gathered during the empathize stage and thoroughly analyze it to define the core problems you have observed. Staying in line with the essence of design thinking, it is a good idea to define problems in a human-centered way rather than taking a product-centered approach. For example, instead of saying we need to increase traffic to our site by 15% to improve conversion rates you might say site visitors need to be able to see the core features at a glance. It is a different, human-centered, way of thinking about the same problem, i.e. increasing conversion rates. Ask questions that help the group explore various ideas for possible solutions. Think outside the box and look at the problem from different angles. Define the problems as problem statements in a human-centered way. Ideate By now, you have gathered insight into the user's pain points and clearly define the problem your team will be solving. The next step is to generate ideas and come up with solutions for the problem you have identified. At this stage you need to get creative and come up with ideas and design concepts that address the user's problems. Unconventional thinking helps teams arrive at innovative solutions. When you are working with a team, it is a good idea to organize collaborative brainstorming sessions and encourage free thinking. You might even consider bringing designers, developers, and stakeholders together during these sessions so that the team can build on each other's ideas. The goal is to come up with as many relevant and innovative ideas as possible. Prototype once you have generated ideas, select the ideas that best solve the problem and begin prototyping. Creating a prototype of the product, or prototyping new features to include in the product, makes it easy to thoroughly test out the proposed solutions generated in the ideate stage. The purpose of creating a prototype is to bring ideas to life and select the best possible solution with which to move forward. If you are attempting to solve multiple problems, implement all of the chosen solutions in a single prototype to ensure they work seamlessly together. The design team can then explore the solutions implemented in the prototype. Doing so gives them a better idea of any limitations that are present in the product with the proposed solution added to it. At the end of this stage, the design team should have a clear idea of which solutions work and whether they should be accepted, rejected, or need further improvement. Creating Prototypes for Design Projects Tools Envision Mock Flow Test once you have a functional prototype, you can test its usability to see if it solves the problems you identified in the define the problem stage. If you are short on time or are working with a limited budget, you might consider conducting guerrilla usability tests instead of recruiting test participants. Although this is the final stage of the design thinking process, the usability problems identified during the testing stage are often used to redefine the problem and iterate back to an earlier stage. If the problem is severe, you might have to go all the way back to the empathize stage. On the other hand, if it is a minor problem and you are able to define it accurately, you can skip ahead to the ideate stage instead. Conclusion Design thinking is not limited to designers. The principles of design thinking can be an asset to anyone regardless of their industry trying to solve a problem or looking for better ways to get work done. Let's quickly recap the five stages of the design thinking process. Empathize with the intended users of the product by understanding their needs and pain points. Define the problem in a human-centered way rather than a product-centered way. Brainstorm and generate as many relevant, innovative ideas as possible. 
move forward with the best ideas by creating functional prototypes. Conduct usability tests to see if the prototype solves the problem. Any questions? Comment below. Thank you for watching this video. We provide hands on computer training with labs, homework, group projects, prepare you for the certification, provide real projects, internship opportunities, support you in Resume, LinkedIn, staffing support, provide tech references, in person, online class, class retake options, and more. Call us at 847 350 9034 for your free career consultation meeting. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our video to get the notification of our latest video.